So now, Alan, I have a quote for you that I read that you had given a few years ago, and so I'm going to read that for you too. To, uh, I think this is about working with somebody to produce yourself as opposed to you being your own producer. And it was, as an artist, I don't, I don't know just who I am. I really don't know what people expect from Alan Toussaint, the performance, the performer. That's why I have to say I prefer someone else to produce my records. They can see things more objectively. Do you no longer know? Is it still true that you don't know who you are as a performer? Of course, I, I don't. I always feel like a chameleon uh, because uh, whoever I'm producing at the time and writing for, the way this is all going to come out, like I said, the reason why there is a niche training and those things is because of Irma. So that's Irma's day, and, and it's Lee Dorsey tomorrow working in the coal mine, not for Irma. But, uh, and after that, it's Aaron Neville. So out of all of that, then they say, so you record. Well, I haven't, I haven't been working on me, or I haven't auditioned for me to say which, which me, am I a fly guy? Am I gonna sing romantic songs, comic songs? Cause I don't give off my own persona or patina to say which one of those things I am. And so it, I still haven't come to terms with that. The closest I've ever come to something that somewhere near what might be me is the album Southern Night. And it's uh, those things that, and if you listen to that, uh, those songs doesn't sound like they would be written for anyone else, but I'm so glad that Jim Webb told Glenn Campbell to get <laughs> Southern Night and record it. If I could, Alan, I would say that when I think of who you might be, there's these series of commercials that have now shown up for um, uh, Dos Equi, I think it is, where it's the world's most interesting man. I do believe they modeled that character after you. At least that's the way I see it. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Alan Toussaint.